Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, and it is November 7th. I am here with Jeff Janay, Assistant Director for IT and High School Tech Integrator, Chet Garber, Middle School Tech Integrator, Kathy Patterson, High School Librarian, and Karen Janay, Upper Elementary Librarian. And we participated with other tech integrators, librarians, leadership team, and teachers this week in a tech summit. When we brought together our good thinking around the future of technology for student learning here at ASD, we used it our, as our base text, the Horizon Report, which forecasts trends in technology in the future, both near term as well as far term. So let's talk about what is it that we feel we learned and what might be some of the implications for student learning here at ASD. Sure. Well, I think what we learned more than anything else is the future is coming. It's coming quickly, and it's not going to slow down for us. So we, we have to keep up on these trends because otherwise we run the danger of being less relevant as time goes on. We have to see what's coming and adapt to it and make sure that what we do is ready to meet the challenges of these kinds of changes for our learning. I was most intrigued by the idea of open content, and open content has to do with making kind of resources available or going out um, and getting resources to bring into the student and to bring in for student learning. We also thought about some ways that students might be able to create content um, on their own to share it with everybody else at large. One of the things that we also talked about this week when we were talking about open content was the need to be critical consumers of information and to think about that as we're also looking at all the resources that are available. And thinking of the ability to take and work on doing their own work, I really like the cloud computing because it allows kids a model that they can use to collaborate, to work together as they're learning to create things with the open content and being able to gather more information and share it easily, whether it's within a class or across the world. Another trend that the Horizon Report addressed was mobile computing. Um, this is using devices that are smaller than, say, a laptop computer, uh, iPads, iPods. And I thought that our school measured fairly well in terms of that trend. We, we have iPads now well entrenched in the lower elementary and, and being used every day. Um, we have these devices also in upper elementary, middle school. Not so much in high school, but because they have tablet PCs that serve kind of a dual purpose of having the touch feature as well. But um, I think, at least in terms against that trend, we look very, very good. One of the ideas that intrigued me was the whole notion of learning analytics, that we are beginning to pull data together um, about student learning where we can have different data points for students, be they quantitative or qualitative, pulled together to think about a personalized learning plan for students. And then the ability to couple that with resources to help the student that are very targeted for those learning needs seems very exciting. You know, I think those are, we, we can see those up and coming already because we, uh, the parents are already familiar with something like IXL, which is a math program, if you're not aware, that targets students where they are so that if they answer a question, the program tells them they need to go to a different level, either speeding up or slowing down. But what we're finding is that this is kind of organic. We find a great website that does a type, a type of learning analytics here. We find another one there. And this teacher is doing a great job with that. This division is doing a great job with another one. I think what we're going to find in the near term is convergence of a lot of these, where we're able to pull data from different directions to give a bigger picture of the student. So rather than one website or another, we're going to find we have kind of a holistic picture of what the student's doing. And that's really exciting because that's information that we just didn't have before and will just help us address learning even better. As educators, one of those, or having all those resources available is something that's a little bit intimidating to us too. And so in the high school, we talked quite a bit about how can we best consolidate all of those resources into one or two areas so that we know what tools are available for us and the best way to access those tools to get those kinds of, of results. Any last thoughts, Jeff? 
we've made a considerable investment at ASD in technology and in resources in our libraries. And we do that because we believe it will further student learning. And it's nested in our mission and our vision and our strategies to prepare students for a changing future. We'll continue to do that. We believe that it's important to make that investment. But it's also important that we look out there and we think about what is it that we need to be aware of to continually improve learning with our students. So thanks. And that's Sahipa this week. <laughs>